On April 28, 2025, Spain and Portugal were plunged into darkness in one of the most severe blackouts in recent history. The lights went out, and with them came a sobering realization. Spain's blackout wasn't just a fluke. It's a sign of what could happen to other power grids around the world. The real question we need to ask is, could this happen in the United States or in other EU countries? What if the lights go out in the US or Europe, leaving millions of people without power, services, and basic needs? It is shocking to know that many experts warned about similar next blackouts soon. The Spanish blackout might just be a preview of what's to come if we don't take urgent action. In this video, we'll explore what happened in Spain, why it's a major warning for power grids in the US and Europe, and what we can do to prevent a similar disaster. Let's first highlight what happened in the Spanish blackout. The blackout in Spain wasn't just caused by one simple issue. It was the result of a perfect storm, a sudden drop in power generation, combined with aging infrastructure and a heavy reliance on renewable energy sources like wind and solar. According to El País, in just minutes, Spain's power generation plummeted from 25 gigawatts to just 10 gigawatts, throwing the grid into chaos. This dramatic drop overwhelmed the grid's ability to adjust, causing a cascading failure across the entire country. But why did it happen? Spain's grid is outdated. Its infrastructure is from a time when the world was powered by fossil fuels, not the intermittent sources of energy we rely on today. According to World Economic Forum, when the renewable energy supply suddenly dipped, Spain's grid didn't have the backup power it needed to maintain stability. What made the situation worse was Spain's lack of robust connections to neighboring countries. With limited interconnections, Spain couldn't pull in power from other regions to prevent a total collapse. If this had happened in a more interconnected grid system, other countries could have sent in backup power and avoided the worst of the crisis, according to World Economic Forum. The shocking reality is, the Spanish blackout isn't just an isolated incident. It could easily happen in the US too. The US power grid faces many of the same issues that led to Spain's disaster. Just like Spain, the US grid is aging, with much of its infrastructure dating back decades. According to the US Department of Energy, some power lines in the US are over 100 years old. These aging systems are struggling to keep up with the rising demand for power and the integration of new energy sources like solar and wind. What's more, the US grid is highly fragmented. The country's power system is divided into multiple regions, many of which are isolated from each other. For example, Texas operates its own independent grid, and during times of crisis, it can't immediately tap into neighboring grids for backup. This means that if something goes wrong in one region, the effects can be catastrophic. And that's exactly what happened in Spain when they faced a grid collapse, according to the Energy Information Administration. The US is also increasing its reliance on renewable energy, just like Spain. And while renewable energy is essential for reducing carbon emissions, it's also unpredictable. Wind and solar power don't always produce energy when it's needed most, leaving the grid vulnerable to blackouts. According to Renewable Energy World, the US has made great strides in moving toward cleaner energy, but the current grid infrastructure wasn't designed to handle the demands of renewables. If a sudden drop in renewable generation occurs, the US grid might not be able to cope with the pressure. It's not just the US that should be concerned. Spain's blackout is a wake-up call for all European countries. Europe has made significant investments in renewable energy, but many countries still rely on older grid infrastructure that isn't equipped to handle the demands of modern energy production and distribution. According to the European Commission, many European nations, just like Spain, face similar challenges with intermittent energy generation. 
The shift to wind and solar energy brings its own risks, particularly when the weather isn't cooperating, and these energy sources are unavailable. Countries like Germany, France, and Italy are all heavily investing in renewable energy, but they also share the vulnerability of grid instability. If a sudden drop in wind or solar energy happens, many of these countries might not be able to recover quickly enough. And just like Spain, many European countries have weak interconnections between their grids. A grid failure in one country could easily spread to neighboring regions if they can't share power in time. According to the International Energy Agency, if something like Spain's blackout were to happen in a larger country with a bigger, more connected population, the consequences would be even more catastrophic. Let's consider the consequences of such a blackout in the US or EU. Imagine millions of people without power, hospitals without electricity, transportation systems halted, communication lines down, businesses forced to shut their doors. It could take days or even weeks before services are restored and the economic costs would be astronomical. But it's not just about the immediate impacts. Prolonged blackouts can lead to severe disruptions in everyday life. The supply of food and water could be disrupted, and in worst-case scenarios, emergency services could be overwhelmed. According to the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, in a world that's more dependent on technology than ever before, losing power for an extended period is more than just a nuisance. It's a full-scale crisis. Now that we know the risks, how do we avoid a crisis like this in the future? The solution lies in urgent and strategic investment in grid modernization. According to the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, the US and European countries need to prioritize upgrading their aging power grids and building the infrastructure necessary to handle the increased demands of renewable energy. The key to this is implementing smart grid technologies, advanced systems that can balance power supply and demand, predict energy needs, and respond to disruptions before they escalate. Another critical solution is expanding energy storage. Right now, energy storage is one of the biggest gaps in our energy system. Without adequate storage, we can't store excess energy generated by wind or solar for use when it's needed most. According to the Energy Storage Association, with better storage solutions, we could ensure that the energy generated during sunny or windy periods is available when it's cloudy, calm, or when demand spikes. Furthermore, we need to increase interconnection between power grids in both the US and Europe. The more interconnected the grids are, the more resilient they become. In the event of a failure in one region, neighboring regions can share power, preventing widespread outages. Increased interconnectivity is essential to preventing the kind of domino effect that Spain experienced during its blackout according to European Network of Transmission System Operators for Electricity. Spain's blackout is a clear warning that the US and Europe can no longer afford to delay upgrading their power grids. The risks are real, and the consequences of inaction could be catastrophic. But the good news is that we can prevent this from happening. By investing in modern energy storage, smart grid technology, and greater grid interconnectivity, we can ensure a future where blackouts are less likely and our power grids are more resilient to disruptions. The question is, will we heed this warning and take the necessary steps to protect our energy future? Or will we wait until we're faced with a crisis like Spain's? Thank you for watching. If you believe our power grids need urgent upgrades, share this video with your friends, family, and policymakers. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on the future of energy. Together, we can make sure we're prepared for whatever challenges lie ahead.